The following problem asks us to solve the system of equations using substitution. This is a problem that you normally wouldn't use substitution on, but we want to show you how to do it. So you have to decide what's the best way to solve for a variable. Well, I'm going to choose the first one, and I'm going to choose to solve for x in the first one. And the only reason why is I know when I divide by 2, which I'm going to have to do, I'll still have integers. So to solve this, to solve for x, I subtracted 4y to get the 2x by itself. So I get 2x equals negative 4y plus 8. Then I go through and divide everything through by 2. That leaves me with x equals a negative 2y plus 4, which isn't too, too, uh, too bad, not too nasty. So uh, we know we can easily put that in for x in the second equation. So we're going to take um, negative 2y plus 4 and plus that, place that in for x in the second equation. So we get negative 2 times negative 2y plus 4 plus 3y equals negative 1. Now we use a distributive property. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4y. Negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. And then plus 3y equals negative 1. We simplify the left side. 4y plus 3y is 7y. So you got 7y plus negative 8 equals negative 1. And we'll add 8 to both sides. And that'll give us 7y equals 7, which means that once you divide by 7, y equals 1. So the y coordinate of our solution is 1. Now we take that back in to one of the two originals. It doesn't matter which one. I'll just do it in the first. So to do this one, you're going to have 2x plus 4 times 1 is going to be equal to 8. So we're going to substitute that 1 in 4y. So 2x plus 4 times 1 equals 8. 4 times 1 is 4, so you're left with 2x equals or plus 4 equals 8. Solve it, so you subtract 4. You're left with 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals 2. So the solution is 2 comma 1, or our preliminary solution. Uh, x equals 2, y equals 1. Make sure that you write them as an ordered pair. In our, in our ordered pair, that means x comes first, y comes second. That's the order part of the ordered pair. Now we can always check our solution as we have been doing. So we pull up, we're going to plug 2 in for x and 1 in for y in both of them. So 2 times 2 plus 4 times 1. Well, that's going to give me 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8. So 8 equals 8. So that's good. And the second one, we're going to do 2 times 1 in for both of them. So negative 2 times 2 minus 3 times 1. And that's going to give us negative 4 plus 3, which does equal negative 1. And so that is true. So now both our, uh, the solution works for both, so that is our answer.